All right, so we are ready now to start putting together our Picasso app. This Picasso app, of course, what we'll do is it will allow us to use our finger as a crayon so we can actually trace on the screen and we're going to create doodles. So we're going to be able to draw things onto the screen, which is very exciting and will allow us to learn other features of Android development. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and say file. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name this Picasso. But notice I'm going to say Picasso with a K. Okay. And in case you don't know who Picasso was, Picasso with the C, not with the K, was one of the most influential artists who created a lot of amazing abstract paintings. Okay, so check him out. His name is Picasso with a C, not with a K. I'm using a K here just to differentiate it. And plus be cool. <laughs> and plus just to differentiate it and make this a little bit more fun. All right, so let me change my common domain here. I'm going to say Picasso app. Everything looks good. Say next. I'm going to get the empty activity. Next, main activity, that's totally fine. And OK. All right, so now we have our project here, our infamous project. Let's go to our app and go to our resource. Let's go to our layout. Okay, this is where the fun begins. Now, for our layout, for our layout here, we're going to get rid of all of this. In fact, let me go to there. And instead of a constraint layout, I'm going to straight add here a view. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. Let me copy this. Copy all of this, put it at the top here, and instead of main activity, it's going to be Picasso view class, which we haven't created yet. But we shall do that in a little bit. Get rid of this. All right. Okay, so we're just pointing this. So we're just pointing this this Picasso view class, which is going to be a customized view where we're going to be able to draw things onto the screen. All right, let's go ahead and create our Picasso view class. I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to create a new package because we want to organize things. Call this view. And inside here, I'm going to say new Java class. I'm going to call Picasso view as such and I want this to extend our view and review class super class as such oops let's go back make sure it's view as such and review say okay and the moment you do that you notice now we have to of course fix a few things here let's create our constructor matching constructor uh, let's go ahead and just get two of these that's fine Okay. Very nice. Let's give a quick run to see if there will be something for us to see. Probably not. Right. We have a problem here. Not well formatted token. Get rid of this. And we're going to finalize it there. Okay. I think that should do it. Let's run. should just get good this is a good thing that means we have to do some work for it to work if you go to log it should give us something that says something is not right let's see what it says okay because it's not inflating blah 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 okay that's to expect no problem we're gonna fix that okay all right, let's go back to our Picasso view here. As we know now about views, we actually need to uh, invoke certain methods for, in order for us to view something, be able to see something. Now, if you go to main here, first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and say on draw. That's the first one we need, of course. But before that, we need the on size changed. Okay, this is very important. So, what I'm going to do here. At the top, what we're going to do is we're going to create a few instance variables. 
what's new, right? <laughs> the first one is going to be uh, an actually PF, a public static final, PSF, like that. And I'm going to call this, it's going to be a float type as such. And because we know static variables have to be, should be, I shouldn't say have to be, but they should be all all caps. I'm going to call this touch tolerance. And you will see at a later time. I'm going to give it 10. Well, all this will make sense at a later time. And then here I'm going to say private. I'm going to create a bitmap type. Call this bitmap. Okay. Say private. It's going to be canvas. We know about canvas now. I'm going to call this bitmap canvas. Another private. When I create a paint, this paint here is going to be a paint screen. So it's going to be hold the would hold the pen. So this will be, for instance, like the pencil that will be used to draw onto the bitmap on screen. Onto screen. Okay. So private again. The next one is going to be another paint type because we need this one. It's going to be paint line so it's going to be the line that we're going to use to actually draw okay and this one now i'm going to create a hash map which will hold key value so the key is going to be an integer type and the value is going to be path type okay so we have an android graphics called path which is going to be the path in which we are actually drawing right we can create a path as we put our finger on the screen and create all those points which create a path all right i'm going to call this path map private and another hash map here we're going to have the integer as the key and the value are going to be points right so in computer graphic so as we talk about graphics in Android, so uh, what is a point? A point essentially is an X and Y value in the middle, right? So if you put your finger on the screen, you have, you can create a point. A path is the, if you put all those points together and you trace a line that connects all of them, that would be a path. So we're trying to take this abstraction of creating things, like if you take a pencil, a pencil or a pen or a crayon and put on paper, you can start tracing things. So now what that's what we're trying to emulate here uh, with our code. Okay. So if you think in those terms, I think it's easier to really grasp the idea. All right, so let's keep going here. I think this is it for now for our instance variables. Those will be great. Now let's go inside of our Picasso view, our constructor here. Of course, we're passing, oh, let me finish up this. I'm going to call this previous point map. Okay. All right, so here we're passing our contest and attribute sets, which we won't really care much about. But what's important here is that we're going to instantiate our paint screen. In fact, what I need to do here, I'm going to go ahead and create an init, say void init function method, where I'm going to instantiate all of that. And I'm going to call it, and then I'm going to call it inside of our view. So I'm going to say paint screen here. I'm going to instantiate it to new paint. Okay. And then I'm going to say paint line is equal to new paint as well. And I'm going to go ahead and set the paint line. Remember, the paint line is going to be the pencil, as like the pencil in this case is going to be our finger as we trace around the screen. So I'm going to say paint line. I'm going to set the anti-alias to true, right? Because I want to make sure that the lines actually are smooth and the edges are looking really good as I trace onto the screen. Okay, and give it a color. So paint line dot set color. For now, I'm going to say color that black okay and I'm going to set the stroke width right so paint line that set stroke width right how wide is our stroke as we trace onto the screen for now I'm going to just go ahead and say for now I'm going to say um, seven and then I'm going to say paint line that set stroke cap 
what is this stroke cap here? Well, as we create our line, for instance, imagine this cursor here, I'm creating a line. At the end, I want to make sure that there's some, I want to make sure that it's round, I can make it round, like once we finish our line, we can make the end round or square. Okay, it will, it will be more visible once we actually start, once we start writing, once we start drawing onto the screen. So for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, I'm going to call the paint object and say cap, I'm going to say round. I just want the round line ends, like the end of the line is just going to be round. Okay, that's what we're doing there. And while I'm here, I'm going to set up our paths, our maps. I'm going to say path map. It's going to go to new hash map of integer type and path, of course. Oops. So have to be inside, of course, angular brackets. Uh, point. There we go. And get rid of these. There we go. In fact, looks like we don't even need that. And I'm going to say previous point map, right? The previous, okay, is equal to new, mesh map as such. It's just setting things up. Let's call this right away before we forget. So we're going to call right inside of our constructor. All right, so we have that. The next thing we need to do here is we need to initialize our bitmap. Because remember, bitmap is going to be where we're putting all those pixels, where we're saving everything as we trace around. Change. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to say bitmap. I'm going to instantiate it, say it's equal to bitmap create a bitmap. In order for create for us to create this bitmap, this section where we can actually draw, we need to create it. So we just say get width of the screen. So we can the whole screen width and get height for the height. And then we need to pass in the certain configurations to actually create this bitmap. We're going to create use the bitmap configuration alpha ARGB 8080. So this configuration here allows us to have an alpha channel, a red channel, green and blue channel. So that's the one we're going to be using. Okay, this is just configuration. So we're just saying, well, what is it this bitmap? How is it going to behave? And how wide and how tall is it going to be? That's what we're doing. So we're actually creating the canvas where we're going to put things into. All right. Very nice. And I'm going to create the actual bitmap canvas here. I'm going to just set up a new canvas and I'm going to pass our bitmap. Right? So we created the bucket where we can actually put all the pixels as we trace around the screen. And then we say, okay, once we have that, we're going to then instantiate the canvas, right? Which will know exactly how to draw things and when we pass our bitmap. So essentially, we are making sure that we have our canvas ready to be drawn into. Okay, now let's say bitmap. Again, I'm going to say erase color. So we're just going to set it right away before we do anything to white. Very nice. So we're able to create our init function where we initialize all of our variables, instance variables and so forth. And we also created a bitmap inside inside of the on size changed override method. And also we created a canvas where we will actually start putting everything together, right? The canvas will know everything about drawing and so forth. Right? Okay, so still, we still have a lot of work to do. But let's save some for the next time. Alright, so I'll see you next.